Hello and welcome back to my channel E Maths. And today I am going to continue my topic inequalities, where I am going to so show you how to solve inequalities when three expressions are given to you in a row. I have already written one question, which I am going to show you how to solve it. So in this type of question, we need to take cases. So case one. In case one, I am going to take first two expressions. So here we have two smaller than x minus three. We will solve it the way we have learned in transposition. So I'll transpose this minus three on the other hand side. So this will be a plus three on the other hand side. X will remain the same. In my previous video, I have already explained you that when you are like, if you see this expression, it is x minus three. So here this term is either being added or subtracted. So when you are transposing such a thing, this inequality sign doesn't change. So even if you are bringing this minus three on this side, it will not change this inequality sign. Fine. So we are going to solve this here. We are getting a five smaller than x. We have solved case one. So the set A will be all the natural numbers less than five. So that will be one, two, three, and four. It will be clearly mentioned in the question only that what values you have to take for x. So here it is x belongs to natural numbers. Natural numbers start from one and goes to infinity. So we'll take all those numbers which are smaller than five and we'll start from one to four. So this is our set A. Now I'm going to solve the case two. Now for case two, I'll be taking the last two expressions. That means the center one and the last one. So here we can conclude that the center term is being taken in case one also and in case two also. Now let's start. X minus three is smaller than seven. Again, let's transpose this minus three on the other hand side without changing the sign of inequality. Just solve. So X is smaller than ten. So all the numbers starting from one to nine will be taken in this set. Because the value of x is smaller than ten, so we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We have found set A. We have found set B. Now the last part, which is again a very important step for solving such a question, we need to find the intersection. Now, how do we find the intersection? This inverted U means intersection in intersection we look at both the sets and the numbers that are common common means which comes in both the sets so we have one here we have one here as well 2 2 3 3 4 4 so we have our intersection here as 1 2 3 and 4 this is one question that I have solved and I am going to take a little bit difficult question so that you understand it in a more better way. Now I have taken this question which is having some rational numbers also. Let's solve it. As I told you, we have to solve cases. So case 1 will have the first two expressions. So here we have 9 minus 2 by 3x smaller than 5x minus 11. Now here if you see we have two two terms on both the sides. So we are going to keep x's on one side and constants on one side. So minus 2 upon 3 x, I'll bring this 5x here so it will be minus 5x smaller than minus 11 and minus 9. Since I have transposed this 5x on the other side, so this is minus 5x and I have transposed this 9 on the other hand, that's why the sign of this constant is changed here. Now we'll solve this. We'll take the LCM here. This minus 2x will remain same. Sign minus will be there. If it is nothing, that means 1. 3 5 is 15. 15x. Smaller than minus 20. This will be minus 17x upon 3. Smaller than minus 20. Now here this minus 17 by 3 is in uh, multiplication with x. So when I'm going to transpose this entire term, when this will be transposed here, this will change the sign of inequality. 
So I've changed the sign of inequality. This remained the same, this entire term when moved on to the other hand side got reciprocal. So here we have x greater than 60 upon 17 or you can also say 17 3 is 51, 17, 9. So we have the value of k, x in case 1 as this. Now here the value of x is greater than 3, 9 by 17. So we will be taking the integers in this. So set A will be starting from 4, 5, 6, 7 and so on. It keeps on moving on the right hand side because all are going to be positive because x is bigger than this 3, 9 by 17. Now, as I told you for case 2, we need to take the next two terms 5x minus 11 smaller than 17 minus x upon 4. So this is our question now. Now again keep the x's on one side and constants on one side. So this will be 5x plus x upon 4 because I am bringing this on this side. Smaller than 17 will be there as it is. This 11 will go on this side. So this will be 17 plus 11. So here it's nothing than 1. 4 will be here. 20x plus x smaller than 28. So we have 21x upon 4 smaller than 28. Here if we see both the terms are positive on the either sides. So now we will just simply transpose without changing the sign of inequality. But this will be upside down. So 4 will go up, 21 will come down, 7 3s are, 7 4s are. So we have x's value smaller than 16 upon 3 or we can also write down as 3 5s are 15. 5 1 by 3. That means now here x value is less than 5 1 by 3. So we will be having numbers smaller than this. So our set B will be less than this 5. So we will start from, we can start from 5 here. We will be having 5, 4, 3, 2, and so on on the left hand side. Now we have our set A, we have our set B, we need to find the intersection. So as I told you in intersection we need to have the common element. So here if you see we have 4 here, there also and 5 also. So that means our intersection will have 4 and 5. So that's how we solve question when we have been given more than two expressions in a row. I hope you all must be liking my videos. Do subscribe my channel. Keep watching. Keep sharing. Thank you so much. Have a good day.